Hey, this is Digital Bike Computing. Let's go really quickly into the differences between a SAN and a NAS. A SAN is what is called a block-based network storage device where I'm going to be having a whole bunch of disks. I raid these disks together. I create what's called storage pools, which are made of these disks that have been raided. And then I create LUNs or logical unit numbers. The LUNs are then presented to my servers over iSCSI through a network switch or over fiber channel using fiber channel connectors directly between, between my devices or over fiber channel switches. And then I can go and build virtual servers and just dump data as if a physical hard drive is plugged into that server. I can then go and provide and build my VM straight onto my SAN LUN disks. And NAS is a file-based network storage device. Think about it as a file server. It's just a bunch of disks, very similar to a SAN, rated together, creating storage pools, but now I'm creating volumes, I'm creating SMB volumes, NFS volumes, which then have permissions attached to them. I can assign users, I can bind it to AD, use LDAP authentication. You then access that the same way that you would access any other share on a network, backslash, backslash, the name of the NAS, backslash, the actual folder name. It is going to be used for storing documents, for storing images, for storing anything, essentially the same as what a file service purpose is used for. A NAS just essentially uses a standard network switch to connect the NAS into that, and then uses the traffic over IP, over the IP protocol, to allow users to connect and copy and you know dump data as they need between those shares that are presented from the NAS. There you go, that is my summary. Like my video, subscribe to Digital by Computing for a whole bunch of more videos.